Well, I do have another Irish story for you. Thank you for asking me. This is called One Wish. One time there was a young man and his wife who lived on a farm in County Mayo. The young man's parents lived with them, and the farm was very poor, and they had a landlord. They didn't own the property, so half of everything they grew had to go to the landlord. And like every family, they suffered sorrows. The man's wife was, uh, and, 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 the, and the young man had tried for five years to have a child of their own, but no child had been born to them. And, and the young man's mother was blind and had been blind for 10 years. But the family stayed together, and the young man was able to keep them well and happy and food on the table until a blight came on the potato crop and starvation came to the door. And then there was no food, and the young man had to do everything in his power to get food to put on the table for the family. And there was only one thing to do, to go into the landlord's estate and poach some game. Now, Getting caught at that would mean that you'd be hung right away. But the landlord was one of the hard ones. And he thought maybe he could take his ax and sneak around in the landlord's property. He had a big forest where he and his friends hunted for game, for sport. And if he found something, he could keep his family alive. So he got an old ax, the only weapon he had, and he sharpened it. And then one morning at dawn, he went into the landlord's forest and he hunted all day, always keeping watch for the horsemen that were, were, were on, riding around looking for people that were poaching game. And he found nothing until just at dusk when he knew he had cornered an animal in a glen. And he went in and he saw the most beautiful animal he'd ever seen in his life. It was a white deer. I don't know if you've ever seen a white deer. I never have, but it sounds so beautiful. And this young man was entranced. But at the same time, he was very sad because he had to kill the white deer in order to provide food for his family. And so he raised up his ax and he was about to bring it down on top of the white deer when it spoke to him. It said, if you kill me, you'll be hanged, but if you let me live, I will grant you one wish. Well, the young man had his ax raised. It was frozen. He, he, he thought that the hunger must be affecting him. He's hallucinating. And he started to bring it down again. And the white deer said, listen, you may be able to save your family. Think about it. I'll be here just in this place tomorrow morning. And you can kill me then if you want to, or you can take a wish. So with that, the young man brought the ax down. He was in a trance as he turned around and just left the forest. And on his walk home, he thought, the thought came back to him. He could save his family. And the first person he saw at his house was his father. His father was waiting by the gate. And when he saw that he didn't have anything in his arms to eat, the father was devastated. But the young man told him about the wish and the white deer. Oh, and the father said, son, that's all right. Wish for gold. Gold will solve all our problems. Oh, and the young man, he knew it was true. And he, he loved his father very much. But he thought maybe he'd better ask his mother what she thought. He went to his mother and, and told about the gold that his father wanted and, and the white deer and the wish. And the mother said, oh, son, I know we need money. I know we need gold. But for 10 years now, I've lost my eyesight. I've been blind. Sure, my eyesight being restored, that would be the best wish of all. And oh, the young man, he loved his mother very much, and he wanted to do that for her. But he thought he should ask his wife. And of course, when he asked his wife, she sadly said, Husband, I love your mother and father very much. But for five years now, we've waited for a child to be born to us, and no child has come to us. Truly, that would be the most precious wish of all. And the young man wanted a child more than anything in the world. And that night, he tossed and turned 
couldn't sleep at all, just thought about those three wishes and how he, he wanted to, to, to give them to his family, he wanted to solve all their problems, but he, he could only have one wish. Perhaps he should kill the white deer, is what he thought. But in the morning, he'd made up his mind. He decided on a wish. He knew what he would do. He didn't take his ax back into the forest, but he went in. And there was that beautiful white deer, right where he'd left it. And the white deer looked up at him and saw that he didn't have a weapon and said, ah, you'll take a wish. And the young man said, I, I'll take a wish. And the white deer said, tell me what it is. And the young man squared his shoulders and he took a deep breath. And he said, I wish my mother could see my wife rocking our child in a golden cradle. And that one wish was granted to that young man, and the family lived happily after that. <laughs> now, being an Irishman, wow. I'm wondering if I can tell one last little story. Do I, is there time for one last yep. story? Okay. Yep. Okay, because this is a kind of heartwarming Irish story involving wishes once again that, that we all think of when we think of Ireland. My heart. Yes, Emerald Green. It's about a little old lady. And she lived in County Mayo all by herself, except for her little cat Murphy, no relation to myself. <laughs> and one time she was coming out of church on St. Patrick's Day when she spied a leprechaun hiding behind a stone wall. She crept up behind him and grabbed him, caught him in the twinkling of an eye. And he said, oh, you caught me fair and square. I'll give you me pot of gold. And she said, I don't want your pot of gold. I want three wishes. So he said, all right, I'll grant you three wishes. And she took him home. And right away, she said for the first wish, I wish I was rich instead of poor. And poof, there were a million Irish pounds on the table. And she thought another minute and she said, I wish I was young and beautiful. And poof, she was young and beautiful. And she had to think for a few more seconds about her final wish. And then she knew. I wish me little cat Murphy were a handsome young man. And poof, Murphy was a handsome young man. And she said, oh, Murphy, is it really you? I, he said, it is. Now, aren't you sorry you had me fixed? <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's the end of that story.